Hey guys, King of Tronis here. Today I'll be your judge, your jury, and your analyst. And today I bring to you my best ABB team for the Retro Cup. This team features a very inaccessible back row. If you don't have a Deoxys defense or Mew, and I just revealed the back row, it's Walrein, Deoxys defense, and Mew. You're gonna see me pull off some crazy stuff in this, but Mew with Flame Charge, Wild Charge is pretty dang nuts for this cup. Reason being is because with Flame Charge, things like Obama, Obama Snow, or other grass types, etc., that are still running around in this cup. I faced the Venusaur with it. I mean, uh, Meganium with it, and it's very nuts. Mew with revved up Shadow Claws can threaten your opponent really hard. And a Mew really revved up will nuke the unholy hell out of your opponent. So this features double charged Mew and Deoxys defense in the back, followed by, of course, the most one of the most powerful Pokemon in Open Great League, Walrein. So again, this is one of the most powerful ABB team. This is the most powerful ABB team that I've used. And there were two other variations. This one won the, won the this one won it. And again, with Mew with double charts, it's nuts at how how strong his team and just how much fun it is to see things die to Mew just absolutely destroying it to death. But I hope you all enjoyed the shoutcast. Before we do though, I have my therapist mental health tip for the day. And my therapist mental health tip of the day for today is going to be make sure you all make sure you guys all take a break. Like I like I always say like take a break, but I also mean like setting up a break okay setting up a break i always i said take a break but make sure you set up breaks for yourself so it is really good to have a set time when you know you're going to have time off for example i have let's see it's tuesday today well actually technically i don't really have a day off today because i have class tonight i'm almost done with grad school thank you god so not really a break but from Sunday, I had 10 days off because of spring break because for most of you that have teachers and whatnot, you have spring break and most of you are off during that time. So as a school therapist, I vibe with the school system. So I have Sunday up until next Monday off. So I had a good like 10 days off. So I still have a literal six days off. So I still have six days off after the day and I'm enjoying every second of it, but it's also really refreshing. I'm still working out and whatnot, so I'm still running my 10Ks, I'm still making sure I lift, etc. Make sure I eat my food, make sure I stream, make sure I'm consistent with a lot of other things that I don't really consider work, but that stuff doesn't wear me out. So, therapy doesn't wear me out either because I love my job, but at the same time, it's nice to not have to do therapy for a week so that you can like relax, refresh, but make sure you have those planned out times. For example, I knew I would have this week off, so I planned a few things here and there. I planned the stream. I planned to go see the movies. I'm gonna see Morbius tomorrow. So I'm gonna go go to the movies tomorrow, not tomorrow afternoon and see Morbius. That's on my game plan for the week. So I'm really looking forward to seeing Morbius. I heard it. I heard the audience score was really good, but also people are roasting it off, but I love Marvel, so I can't wait to see it. Don't spoil it for me, by the way. But yes, have those have those assigned days off for you to take time off so that you can refresh because you definitely need those. Not just taking breaks, know when you're going to take them because when you know you're going to take them, you're like, all right, let's go. And I have my plan breaks and I love making my videos, so I'm still staying consistent. I appreciate all of y'all. And without further ado, this is the most powerful ABB team for the Retro Cup that I've used and practiced with. And it's Wall Ring Double Psychic. Let's get started. All right, here are the battles again for ABB, double psychic. Risky if you see Trev, but even if you see a ghost, it kind of can work out. So we have for our first battle, Viggy into our wall raid, and that's a terrible lead for us. Fighting beats ice, of course we know that, right? And we get a Swampert. So how the heck do we win this? The preferred moveset for Mew for the Retro Cup is Flame Charge and Wild Charge. There's actually a way you can come back. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fire off Flame Charge and I will double shield. With the boosted Shadow Claw damage, you can actually come back from Switch. Flame Charge is going to go off as you see here. Um, or what you can do is just break both shields. So break both shields, take your opponent to the zeros, and then come in with either Deoxys Defense or come in with Wall Rain to farm. So, we're going to do as much humane damage as humanely possible here, and our opponent elects to fire, which I'm not sure why, because you can comfortably farm down, but I don't think they wanted a Shadow Claw down. They blow their energy, and they keep switch. So, what we're going to do is we're going to send Wall Rain here, and Wall Rain, I'm not going to shield anything. This is likely a Hydro Cannon. Our opponent wants to blow as much of their... We want to blow our opponent's energy as much as possible. And what we're going to do is just do the full farm down on Swampert. My opponent shouldn't be able to get to an Earthquake nor a Sludge Wave. So this should be another Hydro Cannon. This is why I am not going to shield. I'm going to farm down this high, this Swampert completely. Deoxys Defense has a good matchup against that 
Vigrath, and then I don't know what's in the back with Viggy, but I'm hoping with all of this energy that I banked for my wall ring, plus Deoxys defense with the shield, I can come back with a W, and we've seen Obama Snow, or Obama. You see, this is what happens when you vote for Obama, so yeah, it's great on team, but not great when we have a wall ring with a bazillion energy just literally spearing. This is literally like 300 right now. We're gonna send, they're gonna send in Vigoroth and attempt to farm me down, but this is GG's. All I have to do is Icicle Spear here, and I have a whole Deoxys defense with two shields. Deoxys defense has a great matchup against both Obama Snow, Obama Snow and Vigoroth, and that's GG's. Again, Mew is a fantastic save, so if you lose the lead with Wall Rain, switch into Mew, and you could possibly come back with the W. As you see, we're able to have both shields here, and this is nuts. Even if that Swampert shielded one of my moves, or even if I, my Swampert, like, didn't shield one of our moves, we would only need one shield here to win, because I don't need both of these shields. All I have to do is counter down here, and then I can hit the cycle boost for GG's. Energy Ball nor Weather Balls will actually KO me here. So, again, as you see here, all I have to do is get the Psycho Boost. I should be able to get the Comfortably Psycho Boost down in that game. GG's. Despite losing the lead and losing Switch pretty hard, we come back with the W because Deoxys defense is a monster in this cup and double Psychic is... Psychic types are really amazing. The reason why Psychic types were really overpowered in the Generation 1 when Pokemon came out and, like, this is back in Generation 1. Generation 1 Psychic types were really strong. If you take out Steel, etc., Psychic types are also very powerful. So, that's why you see Yakuza's defense and Mew just going to town. Next, we have the Wall Ring Mirror. If you watched my last video, you know how I like to play this. I don't shield at all. 90% of all, all I do is I just sack Wall Ring in the lead. And what we're going to do is we're going to farm down our opponent. So, we're going to hope that they shield or Earthquake goes through shields. That's fine, either one. I usually Earthquake on the first shot, and then I'll Icicle Spear or Earthquake accordingly. I will not shield this move right here. I'm pretty much banking that my opponent doesn't have a good move for me right here. And as you see here, we're going to go straight for the Earthquake. If they Earthquake me, it won't kill me. If I call their Icicle Spear bait, that's even better. So, I love the matchup I have right now. We call the Icicle Spear bait, which is amazing, and I'm going to go my own Icicle Spear. The reason I'm doing this is because Earthquake will kill, but at the same time... Uh, at the same time, I just want I just want to chip away at my opponent. I want them to force the Earthquake, but because, as you see here, Double Icicle Spear will go through, I'm either going to grab a shield, or I'm going to be able to chip down my opponent to Oblivion. We chip down opponent to Oblivion, and they elect to give a swap into a Digger's B, which is great for us. Digger's B is actually really good for the Retro Cup, but it's not good against Wall Rain, because Ice is super effective against Ground. I suppose we're going to go through, and then, as you see, I try to switch into Deoxys Defense to eat the Fire Punch, but that's fine. Fire Punch does neutral damage because Wall Rain is ice and water. Fire Punch goes through. I'm going to get another Icicle Spear off. And the reason I'm doing this is because I just want all this pressure on my opponent. Also, I'm also not paying attention to this battle. This is why you see me stop for a sec because I'm not actually paying attention. So I stop for like five seconds and they fire their second Fire Punch. But this is okay. I still have Deoxys defense and I still have a whole Mew. So I see they Fire Punch through. I'm going to Ice Spear, I'm going to Ice Cold Spear down, and then my opponent knows that this is pretty much game, and that's GG's. Switching in was a mistake. Never switch into an energy lead with a Digger's B, so I don't tell uh, this play by my opponent, but as you see there, that was actually pretty dang terrible. So they switch, don't swap into a wall ring with energy lead, because nine times out of ten, it's going to do a ton of damage to you before it goes down. So my opponent made a huge mistake over there. So they just instantaneously top death because they knew it was like pretty bad. So the reason I'm taking so long with the wood screen is because I want to do that description. But yes, don't swap into a wall ring with energy lead. Unless you're sacking, you want it to die or sack it or like do a ton of, or just whatever is in to take a ton of damage. We get Obama Snow into wall ring. This is a winning lead for us, Obama Snow. Actually, this is kind of neutral. If you, they get the energy ball through, they win this matchup. But, as you see here, we still have the advantage because all we have to do is straight Icicle Spear down. Icicle Spear, Icicle Spear does big damage. So, as you see here, Icicle Spear, we're just going to literally Icicle, Icicle Spear. And because this is a Shadow Obama Snow, this is going to, it's going to take a ton of damage. So, that's pretty much it. As you see here, we're just going to straight ball out. There's no reason for you to do anything. I just ball. Just ball. Just literal ball. Ball so hard. Just ball really hard and then make sure that, like, no one will find you. Well, you're not balling. You're literally throwing 300 Spears. You're throwing the spears like it's a Game of Thrones movie, you know what I mean? Except, no, that's actually a really bad one. It's like that one scene in Game of Thrones when they almost, when, yeah, actually, no, this is Pokemon. That's a, yeah, that's a terrible scene to compare it with. That was a really bad scene. We're able to farm down an opponent. Yeah, they take both of our shields, but as you see here, they send in a Swampert. I'm going to charge up to Earthquake, and then I'm going to switch into, actually, I don't switch at all. I'm actually going to let it go down. 
So as you see here, I fired the Icicle Spear one interval off because I'm staying in. My idea here is just might as well just go straight Earthquake or Icicle Spear down. Huge advantage here. I want them to blow their energy. That was my idea. And as you see, Icicle Spear does so much damage. This is what I mean by like while Rain revving up is a monster because Icicle Spear is just a rack up. This Toxicoke never gets to another move. We send in our Mew and we literally just have to Wild Charge down for the dub. This is Elite Blade. Close combat is resisted, so they're likely not going to close combat. Well, that's perfectly fine. So they're going to fire this, and all we're going to do is wall charge, and that's GG's. Mew is a beast when shields are down, but again, Toxicroak against an energy-led wall rain is terrifying. So, yeah, GG's. If they did it the other way around, it still would have been bad because I had Deoxys defense. So all I really had to do was Psycho Boost down, and that would have been game. So, very, very, yeah, that, that battle was nuts. But yes, as you see, that was... A, that was, yeah, there wasn't really a lot of, there was a way my opponent could come back, but you would have to energy ball through shields with Obama Snow, so then that's a, that's all, that's a lot to ask for for that matchup, so that's a lot to ask for, so. Next, we got Fishy Dave, and we got Walrein into our Walrein, another Walrein, the mirror match from hell. So, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna, you already know what I'm gonna do. Go straight Earthquake, you can choose one to do one of two things. One, get a Powder Snow through so that you can get energy lead. Or your opponent fires much earlier, and you know this is an ice ghost spear. I'm like, that's way too early. That that's one interval off, and I don't have the shield. You should have, yeah. Unless I, unless I lagged, and I was like, nah. Even then, you can eat an earthquake. Now our opponent shields. We take a shield. They don't, which is great. But they're gonna get to an earthquake before we do. We're just setting up this wall rain to nuke it in the back. That's all we're doing. The good thing about the Walrein Mirror Match, you can do farm down plays or shield big shots or sack the lead plays and then farm, get some glorious farm on the wall rating. We're going to fire the secondary earthquake here. This earthquake is going to go off and do big damage or they're going to shield, which is either one. I don't mind at all. As you see, they don't shield and that's, this is, we're just vibing. We're going to fire off this Icicle Spear, get here first, and then my opponent is going to likely either, is going to fire their move after this to keep alignment. So they shield actually and my brain is like, why? Why would you shield? This is an Iso Skier. I'm not going to shield. She one shields are down. Mew and DD to go to town. So we're going to send in Deoxys defense. And this wall ring goes down. And my opponent is going to send in something really bad. So they send in a Toxic Hook. And I'm like, yo, your shields are down, bro. One Psycho Boost non-debuffed will wipe will send toxic croak to the shadow realm and then we send in mew and that's game ggs in fact my opponent likes to just top left because they already know it's over ouch do not send in toxic croak into a deoxys defense unless you know it's your only hail mary because one psycho boost as you see there will wipe it from the face of the freaking pokemon world literally and for our final battle, as you see, Mew's pretty nuts. It can take back Switch, and this team does a lot of pressure. And we lose the lead again. Blazing it is a great lead against Walrein, and we're gonna, you already know we're going to switch out of Mew. Mew go and switch out. They send in Frostless, and I'm like, oh my god. Because it's, here's what happens. When they switch in a Ghost type to you, this is the same thing for Trev, by the way, as well. You could double shield straight Flame Charge, and with all that boosted Shadow Claw damage, you can farm down. Yes, you will. They will have to expend both of their shields because unless they want to let it go and eat the Flame Charge, which isn't ideal. But Mew revved up with Shadow Claw and Flame Charge is an absolute monster, and it's just chunking away at this Frostless. All we're going to do is shield this Avalanche, and then we're going to farm down. We're just going to claw your eyes out. You know what I mean? Like when Nezuko's mad from like, you know, Demon Slayer. Yes. Nezuko will claw your eyes out when she's pissed. Or, yes. Nezuko's freaking adorable, by the way. Her little chibi mode is freaking... Oh my god, I love... I love it so much. I gotta get I gotta get a Nezuko emo for Twitch. We send in Mew, and we're gonna fire this Flame Charge. If we grab a shield, that's great. If we don't, this is a plus three Flame Charge Mew. And they shield. And then I go for the Wild Charge. This is a plus three Mew. This Wild Charge will kill our opponent. And that's GG's. I'm just gonna say it now. That's GG's. Mew is nuts. We send in DD. All we gotta do is hit the Psycho Boost, and that's game. This is likely a Blaze Kick or a Blast Burn, but because DD's in the green, we will be able to survive. All we gotta do is boost down, and then that's game. This is definitely a really sweet ABB team featuring Walray, Mew, and Deox Stevens. And as you see, it's obscenely powerful and gets you a lot of dubs for the Retro Cup. Mew has Flame Charge, Wild Charge, and Double Charge Mew just absolutely annihilates. This is like the best and probably the funnest ABV team I've ever played this season, and it's obscenely powerful for the Retro Cup. I hope y'all enjoyed the shoutcast. This is Walrein, Double Psychic, ABB, featuring Deoxys Defense and Mew in the back, and as you see, this team is extremely powerful and was a ton of fun to play.
And that's GG's. Holy crap. That last battle made me... I was like, oh my god. That was nuts. Mew with revved up is a monster. And I was not... I was like, I knew that wild charge would kill, but yo, plus three? That's death. That's death. Death. I didn't even need to send in. I could have just left Mew in and then absolutely schmurdered my opponent. But yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Oh my gosh! Like yeah, Mew. Like Mew is a lot of fun in this cup, and double charge Mew is absolutely amazing. And this ABB team is <laughs> that's that was that was amazing. But I hope y'all enjoyed the shoutcast. Mew is really great for the retro cup, as you saw there. Like that shoutcast is like yeah. If you're creative, you have really good energy management, and you save shields from Mew, or if you have a revved up Mew. It's going to destroy a lot of things. And it was, so, it felt, so, I was like, oh my gosh. When it was like going live, I was like, there's no, I was like, there's no way they're going to shield. And they shielded and then I fired and I was like, oh my. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the shoutcast. Do me a huge favor. Please like, subscribe. You can use subscribe by pointing your mouse over that little box over there at the bottom right. Also, please comment for the YouTube algorithm. I really do appreciate y'all that do it. And I do reply usually within 24 hours. I hope y'all enjoyed the shoutcast. Also, I stream on Twitch on Friday, Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday, 6.30 to 7.30 PST. That's usually when I'll start and then I'll end till whenever. Usually I'm doing Pokemon community games now, community game nowadays, or doing my, while well, I'm doing my Global League set. So I do all of that. And I'm kind of looking forward to when this litter interlude season ends so that we can go back to playing getting right yeah go back to playing regular rank series but yes i hope y'all are having a great time with your sets good luck on your go bad league sets and i will see y'all in the next video